How's it going everyone? Zookeeper Chris here. Welcome to a very unexpected Planet Zoo news update. It's so early in the morning, I haven't even had time to put on my makeup and the dogs are still asleep. So no face cams today. You're welcome. Today, we are going to chat about the new Animal Talks info that just released for Planet Zoo. To start the video off, I'll be reading through the blog post and then following up with my thoughts on the announcement and what I think may be the most important four letter word in the entire blog post. So if you've already heard the news and you want to jump straight into my thoughts, be sure to check out the timestamps down below. Let's jump into it. Hey yo, zookeepers. Over the next few weeks, we will be revealing what we have been working on since our Planet Zoo Australia pack. We can't wait for you all to see. Today, we wanted to take the opportunity to tell you about a new feature the team have been working on, which will be added to the base game of Planet Zoo for free, and we think you'll all be excited for Animal Talks. Animal Talks are stable activities in zoos, where educators will share insight into their animals housed at their zoos and share more about conservation efforts. Like in real life, we wanted these Animal Talks to benefit both your guests and your zoos. Let's go into detail about how they work so you can get an idea of how to use them in Planet Zoo. When you like to set up an area for a talk to happen, you will need to place an animal talk point. These points need to be placed near a habitat barrier or an exhibit to work correctly. They function similarly to the other education items and need to be in range of what they are educating the guests about. Make sure you provide enough space on the path for the animal talk, as once guests join to spectate, they can take up a fair bit of room on the path. But who can blame them? Who wouldn't be excited to learn more about the wonderful animals you have in your zoos? Animal talks work a similar way to education boards, where you will need to set them up for a certain type of animal. Once you have set up the area, hire an educator, a new type of staff, who will post the animal talks. You can schedule the talks and, if you do it well, can have one educator take care of multiple talks throughout a year. After guests gather around to watch the animal talk, the educator will commence the session. You will see some animals also walk over to see what all the commotion is about, and if you're lucky, sometimes to join in. If you set an animal talk point up so that the back of it is towards the habitat and there are no obstructions such as water, then the educator may also throw food into the habitat during the talk. Depending on the animal species, this will not be available for every animal. With Animal Talks comes a new information panel. Each talk can be set up for one habitat or exhibit and one species of animal. Through this panel, you will be able to enable and disable animal talk points, pick an animal species for the talk, pick a month to schedule the talk, it'll take place annually, Assign an educator to the animal talk point, assign the animal talk to a work zone, select music which will play while the talk is not in use, see if your placement of the animal talk point will allow your educator to throw in food. There is also a new management tab for the animal talks. In this tab you can see the list of animal talks, the location of the animal talk points, habitat or exhibit talk point type, assigned habitat, Assigned animal species, a talk can only be for one species, month the talk is scheduled, work zones assigned, yes or no. There are a few things to keep in mind for the animal talks. Educators with higher training will increase the amount of happiness and education that guests receive, which will benefit your zoos throughout donations. An animal talk will be canceled if the educator does not turn up within the prep period, which is used to gather around guests or the talk duration. Be mindful of your scheduling, as when one educator can do several talks, you'll need to carefully plan and prevent your talks from being canceled. An animal talk point will disable if their habitat or animal is invalid, so keep an eye on them while you move your animals around your habitats. We hope you've enjoyed learning about our animal talks, and we'll be revealing when you can get your hands on them in-game in just a few weeks. We can't wait to show you what else we've been working on, and we're looking forward to ending this year on a high note with you all. Make sure to stay tuned to our official channels for any news and announcements. Woo! That was a lot of information, and I'm super excited for this addition to the game. Let me highlight some things that stood out the most to me in the announcement. 
So in here it says once guests join to spectate the animal talks, they can take up a fair bit of room on the path. I wonder what kind of crowds will form for these. In real zoos, it's important to have plenty of space where you do these animal talks, so I imagine it'll be equally important in Planet Zoo. Make sure you don't clog up your pathways, you don't want the inspector to mark you down for a safety violation. And then obviously we've got another big part here, educators are a new type of staff coming to Planet Zoo. I think this is pretty big news here, it's an entirely new type of staff being added to the game. What if this is just the beginning for educators? One thing that I've mentioned before that we have in real zoos and I would love to see in Planet Zoo are VIP experiences where educators will take guests on VIP tours throughout the park. What if one day educators in Planet Zoo could take a group of guests throughout your park and show them all of your habitats? I'm excited to see if they expand on this further for the educators and give them more roles in the future. What other assignments do you guys think educators could have? Let me know in the comments section down below. So this part right here is huge for me. I think this is such a cool addition to the game for this in particular. And that's the animal interaction that comes with these animal talks. Uh, animals will notice crowds gathering for the talk and some animals may have a food toss. While in real zoos, I do think it's rare, at least in my experience, for the educators to be the ones doing the food toss. Usually it's us, the zookeepers. This is still such a cool addition for Planet Zoo. I do think it's important to note here that not all animal species can take part in the food toss. However, I do think and hope that they will be able to add more animals to this list in the future. So don't freak out if your favorite animal isn't on the list at launch. I'm talking to you guys, those who love the peafowl. I'm just kidding. Moving on. <laughs> so just a small thing here that I think is also a really cool addition is that you can select music for the Animal Talk station to play while it's not being used by the educator. So the Animal Talks, from what I understand in this blog post, happen once a year in game. And so there's going to be a lot of time in the game where there's non animal talk going on. And I love that they are going to include this for the animal talk station. Ambient music can play a huge role in zoos. So I'm really excited to see what kind of selection of the music that we get and how noticeable it is in game when you're down on the guest point of view. So down here at the bottom, it mentions that animal talks will be canceled if an educator does not turn up within the prep period. So it's going to be important to make sure your educators are not being overbooked, which leads me to wonder what happens if there's bad weather in real zoos. Animal talks are usually canceled if there's bad weather in the area. So I'm kind of wondering, will our educators in Planet Zoo cancel their talks too? Or will they brave the elements to educate any bold guests who decide to show up in the middle of a thunderstorm? Tune back here to when the update drops, as this is totally something I'm going to be checking out. Some final notes for me to wrap up the video. I am very excited to see them add some new mechanics to the game with this update. Honestly, the best part is that this is all being added for free. I love when developers are sure to include things for all players rather than locking all new additions to a game behind a DLC for people that may be able to afford them. I can't wait to see what comes next. In the final words of this blog post, the devs mention, we're looking forward to ending this year on a high note with you all. What might this mean? A high note with us all? Could we possibly see an avian update coming in December with aviaries and new bird species being added? Will they be adding the largely requested aquatic animals with diving mechanics? Or are these simply words with no secret meaning and we actually don't need to spend hours looking into every letter placement and punctuation? Only time will tell, but one thing is for certain, we will be covering all the future updates here on the channel, so make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned in the coming weeks for more big announcements. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video and comment down below with your thoughts on the announcement. Maybe share what you're hoping comes next in Planet Zoo. Until next time, stay healthy everyone and don't forget, stay wild. Today, we are just going to chat about the new Animal Talks info that is... Go <laughs>